Good morning guys and welcome back. Welcome back to uh, the 100 days of making comics. Uh, it has been a few days since I've updated. Uh, for those of you who have been keeping an eye on my YouTube channel, um, you will notice that I tried to do a live stream yesterday which lasted for a whole of about five minutes, um, which wasn't very long. Um, which sort of goes to uh, prove that whenever I try and do videos at home, it's definitely a difficult juggle because as soon as April's awake or um, if she wants my attention or whatever, um, I kind of just have to stop whatever I'm doing, which is why it makes it so hard to do those videos that I really, really want to do about, um, you know, like those tutorial videos and things. Um, as you all know, I really, really want to get back into them, uh, but those are some of the reasons why it's very difficult. Especially in the morning, if I'm doing a video in the morning, I have to talk quite softly, which again, you would have noticed. Um, but yes, um, I apologize, I was super lazy over the weekend and did not film anything. That's not to say that I didn't draw anything. Um, in fact, quite the opposite, I did a fair amount of drawing on top of all the uh, usual Easter uh, festivities, catching up with family uh, on both sides, uh, doing some relaxing family time, catching up with some friends, which was nice. Um, overall, it was a really nice weekend. Um, wow, the sun is right in my eyes at the moment. Oh, I was looking forward to daylight savings and having some light in these videos again, but now I've got this sun like right in my face. It's like, oh. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back into it. So, yeah, I got heaps of work done. Um, probably spent every day waking up early in the morning like I normally do. Um, instead of going to work, I got into the studio and did work. And it was great. I um, had a blast just drawing. Um, it's been quite interesting, like waking up today, where now I have to go back to my day job. Um, I've been working on my comic for the last four days and I was thoroughly enjoying it. Well, but I wasn't drawing full time. I wasn't doing like a big eight hour slog. Um, yeah, I was probably drawing like hour to hour and a half increments. Um, I did manage to get art done multiple times in the day. Um, I won't lie, I did do a little bit of gaming just to relax because it was a relaxing long weekend for me. Uh, but overall it was really good and I'm um, really happy with what I've come out with. So. Uh, I started out Thursday, I printed out pages 8 and 9, I penciled them, so both of them are completely penciled, if you want to see them, um, you can catch them on my Patreon, uh, so anyone who is a patron uh, for a dollar or more a month uh, has access to those, um, and I'm really happy with how the pencils came out on those, so I don't know if you guys want to peep it, um, check that out, uh, otherwise I finished inking page 1, Oh, oh, sorry, page one. Page eight? Yes, nine. Page eight. Don't know what just happened there. Huge brain fart. Finished inking page nine. Uh, no, eight. I said eight. Finished for inking page eight. I still need to ink page nine. My intention was to hopefully finish both of them, uh, but that was not to happen, unfortunately. But, in saying that, I did do a rough layout for page ten. And I started page 11, but didn't get very far with that one, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to be trying a new setup now. I've been thinking about it a little bit. Now, as much as I enjoy doing the traditional pencils, uh, part of me is wanting to... Um, I want to move away from doing traditional pencils and just do traditional inks. Now, part of me doesn't want to because I love doing traditional pencils. So the part of my thought process that's making me want to do this is one... Uh, when I do do my pencils, I always ink directly over them, which means that, one, I lose those pencils. So doing the penciling almost seems redundant in a way, although I you know, feel like I'm learning by doing that anyway. Uh, but two, when I do erase the pencil from the ink page, uh, I lose a bit of the quality of the black because the black just gets picked up with the eraser. Uh, and I'm guessing that's just because of the kind of markers I'm using. Um, but I'm using three different brands of markers and it's sort of doing it across the board. So, I don't know. Um, so now I'm thinking of doing just completely digital pencils. Uh, there's bonuses to this because when I'm doing my layouts, I can sort everything out 
then move into the type pencils, add in some reference pictures and things like that, and use that more directly, um, whereas currently, not so much. Um, it will hopefully mean a quicker process for me as well. Uh, sorry, I just had a weird blank there. I don't know what just happened. Um, ho yeah, hopefully it should mean a quicker process. Normally I would do this on the iPad, um, but I'm actually moving in over to the MacBook now where I can use Clip Studio Paint. Um, I was having a conversation with Luke the other day. Um, you know, we've both been working on our comics respectively and you know, while we're doing it, we're learning and coming up with ideas and things and uh, talking about our processes. And we're talking about perspective and perspective is one thing that I think for the entire my entire life I'm going to struggle with regardless. Um, but I'm always trying to get better at it, you know, do better. Um, it's, I don't think it's something that you could ever just be really good at and then that's it, like, and you stop. I think it's just consistent learning process. Um, but using Manga Studio will allow me to do far better perspective. Um, oh, do my image... I don't know how to explain this now. I'm just having weird mind blank. Um, I'll be able to draw my panels with a much better perspective than what I normally would if I was doing it by hand and with a ruler and whatnot. Um, so that's a huge advantage for me as well. Um, and then the bonus of penciling digitally, uh, while doing the layouts and pencils digitally, um, I was actually watching some Scott McLeod videos on how he letters his comics. Now, he does all his lettering first after his initial layouts, and then he'll ink afterwards. Now, he does digital inks, but that's not to say what I do if I do the digital pencils with the um, lettering over the top um, and then print that out without the lettering, do all the inking, and then come back and put the page back into that original letter document. My lettering's already done. So half of the, uh, half of the work's already done by the time I finish inking. So that's another pro that I'm considering, you know, is an advantage to why I should do, um, try this method out instead. So there's a few ums and ahs, but I think I'm just going to try it out for the next couple of pages, so page 10 and 11. I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Um, I still want to do some traditional stuff with pencil. Um, I don't know what or how or when, um, but I'm, all I know is I do. Um, but what I'll probably end up doing now is with my uh, digital pencils, I'll be printing those out just on standard copy paper and then I'll be light boxing that onto the comic book paper. So slightly different process. Um, hopefully it should mean crisper blacks on my page, which makes it better for scanning when I need to um, do my touch-ups. Because I'm noticing when I'm doing, once I scan it and touch up and fix all my levels, that there are lots of little spots of white and things, and I can tell that that's from um, where I've erased, and it's pulled the black out. Yeah. So, anyway, that was an interesting learning, uh, well, so it's something that's come out of this weekend anyway. Um, the other thing is, man, I just really enjoyed just doing this. Like, I, I've been watching the art casters with Mike Emmerich, the one that was on just recently, and um, he was talking about, you know, like he's working, uh, he's going to be trying to work full-time on his comics as a comic book pro. Um, it's not like he tried recently, got sick, and now he's getting back into it. Um, it just made me think, man, I wish, I just wish that I could do that. And I know that everything I'm doing right now is sort of striving towards that. Um, but man, it's just hard. It's, um, especially when you have to go to the day job Monday to Friday and squeeze in whatever time you can. Um, when I know that if I was drawing every day, one, I would excel far quicker. I would learn so much faster. I would become a better artist because of it. And um, I would just, I'd be far happier. <laughs> I know I would be so much happier. Uh, I thought that was Luke next to me. I was incorrect. Well, it looks like Luke's car. <laughs> it's always weird seeing people when you're driving. You can't really stop and say hello. You can maybe try and get their attention and wave, but that's about it. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think the more and more as this week, as this year's gone by, 
the more and more I sort of remember and realize what I really, really want to do. <coughs> and that I need to strive to achieve that. So I'll get there. I really, I really believe that I will get there. It's just going to take a little bit more time and um, a few more late nights or early warnings and just a little bit more dedication on my end to make sure that that happens. Um, it's quite interesting because I know this is a similar mantra of a few of my friends who are over in the States at the moment um, who just want to make comic books they're living um, like, and their own comic books to boot. But they're all still in the same position, you know, they're all still working on the comics and they're still doing their full-time jobs or they're freelancing to make ends meet to do this, um, which choose into their time of making their comics. And it sort of worries me that, like, I'm just another one of these people in the mix with the same mission, stuck in that spot and not going anywhere. And it's kind of frustrating to see because, I don't know, it makes me lose a little bit of faith, but at the same time makes me want to push harder and go, like, if I can rise out of the ashes and go, I fucking did it, then that also means that they can do that too. Um, and then hopefully I can help lift them out as well, or vice versa, you know, whichever way it happens. But, you know, if one person's sort of coming out, um, it's just a matter of reaching that hand out and saying, hey, let me help you. And I think that's something that um, could happen. Like, And I know, I see people um, like Holly Brown, I don't know exactly like what Holly Brown earns, but like with her, between her YouTube channel, she has her comics, which she has on Tapas and everything like that. Um, like, I would assume, I could be wrong, but I would assume that as far as her uh, passive income goes from those uh, projects that she has, or whatever you want to call them, um, you know, she would be bringing in a little bit of money. And I am too. Like, I bring in a little bit from my YouTube, which is fantastic and great. And thank you guys. And that's why I try and do these videos. And I really want to get back to doing the videos that I really want to do. Um, and that helps. And then trying to build up my Store Envy store uh, so you guys can buy merchandise. And especially as Monkey Junk goes along and hopefully people get into the comic and start to, uh, you know hopefully grow to like these characters as much as we like creating them um people will be a bit more invested and want to want to support the comic by buying merchandise and things like that i don't know um but yeah like all this thinking like this is thinking that i had over the weekend as well and it's trying to i've been trying to think of sort of like a game plan on that as well monkey junk comes out on may the 5th which is a month away now uh, publicly so on tapas and probably webtoons, I'm probably going to post to both sites, um, just to cover, you know, a wider audience, there's nothing against doing both, which is great, and I'm you know, really thankful for that, for both of those websites, that they don't mind that you share on multiple platforms, um, I was even considering setting up like a Tumblr blog or something, but for the moment I'll just do, um, just these two, makes it nice and easy for people to find, um, yeah, just trying to think of a game plan to actually launch the comic book. So, with anything, like if a new TV show is coming on television, you know, they hammer you with ads, you know, for weeks before the show even begins to get you excited. Um, hopefully these videos get everyone excited about the comic as well, but, you know, there's a lot of people who don't watch these videos. There's a lot of people who just want a nice little visual cue to go, oh, he's actually releasing that comic. Awesome, you know. <laughs> remember hearing him working on that like a couple of years ago and now it's out awesome um, or hey I didn't know he was working on a comic cool I'm gonna go read it now um, just something to generate that whoa just saw a insane near accident that just was crazy man I hate these roads sometimes I've seen too many accidents in the past week or so and it just frightens me like you know then they say things all things come in threes it just frightens the hell out of me because I've just been seeing I've already I've seen three car accidents happen in the past two weeks I think it was and I'm just like oh man I hope I'm not next it scares me it does um, yeah sorry I'm back to what I was saying um, yeah so trying to think of a game plan trying to do a poster um, which I can potentially post out to a bunch of comic shops 
um, to hand out on Free Comic Book Day, which would be great. Um, also as a digital thing, so I can post that. Um, probably going to steal some snippets from some of the pages that I've been working on. Um, probably stuff that's already up on my Instagram, so I'm not sort of taking new content. I can sort of recycle the stuff that already exists and just put some um, words and things on them. Uh, next to that, I also want to maybe do some interviews with some blogs and podcasts. I was possibly thinking of reaching out to the guys on the Artcast and saying, hey, can I, can I jump on the week of the launch or the week after the launch, something like that. Um, like, I'm not expecting it to be insane, you know, with people flocking over to read it, especially because it's just a pack, like, it's going to be one page, and it's sort of hard to get excited about, um, which has also led me to think maybe I should release, like, the first three pages, which the first three pages introduce Geordie, and that might be a better way to go about it, um, give them a little small packet of content rather than just, here's a page, alright, see you next week. And they were, oh, this is boring. I don't know whether I want to subscribe yet. Where we give them three pages, you've got that build up, you meet Geordie, and they go, okay, this looks mildly interesting. I'll subscribe and see where this goes. Uh, so that might have to be the route that I go, which is fine for, fine for me. It still means that I'll be ahead as far as my scheduling goes. Um, yeah, and then maybe I'll do some stickers and things. I can do some stickers through work possibly. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I can do to promote it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please throw them down in the comments too, um, or shoot me an email or something, because I'm definitely keen to hear what other people think about, you know, what my, my ideas for doing the comic book, um, and how to promote it, especially because it's not going to be a physical product for such a long time, um, I need to get the word out and get people interested in it, um, because like I said, this is potentially going to be my livelihood, this is what I want my livelihood to be, so, um, the more I can make it that the better. Anyway, I'm actually nearly at work and I've babbled on for 16 minutes, 17 minutes. I don't know how I've managed that, but thank you for sticking with me if you have. Um, I'll leave you guys till tomorrow and I'm very interested in like what feedback you have. So, you know, what I've been chatting about here. Um, you know, if you guys have something to say or, um, you know, just want to offer some suggestions or ideas or maybe you don't like that I'm not going to be doing traditional pencils anymore, um, please throw them down in the comments because, you know, I'd love to hear from you and hear your thoughts too. Um, you know, I'm an open book and um, I hope you guys will be with me um, in that same light. So, all right, hopefully this work day goes quick. Um, not keen on it, but, you know, it's just, just another day at work. Got to earn those dollars. Um, all right, well, I'll see you all later and... Uh, I hope you all had a great Easter weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.